Honourable Member for Calgary Midnapore. Inflation is skyrocketing under the Liberal government and wages are not keeping up. Statistics Canada said hourly wages increased 3.3% from April 2021, well short of the 6.7% inflation rate. The central bank raised its benchmark rate a half a point in April, and the governor hinted that he will likely do so again. The Liberal government is destroying our economy and only making life more expensive for Canadians. So when will this government take this inflation crisis seriously and provide real relief for Canadians? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Tourism, Thank you, Madam uh, President, and the budget that we've just tabled includes many measures that puts money directly into the pockets of Canadians. I'm thinking of the one-time payment for all Canadians having difficulty accessing affordable housing, our continued funding for the Canada Child Benefit, which is indexed to inflation, and based on what I've been hearing in this House from the Conservatives and their leadership debate last night, they have absolutely nothing concrete to propose to Canadians in order to help them face the cost of living increase that's due to the war in Ukraine, Madam President. The Honourable Member for Lennox, Hastings, Lennox and Addington. The cost of government is ballooning the cost of living. Gas in my hometown this morning was a disturbing $1.92 and it's supposed to go up again this weekend. Every single day I'm hearing distressing examples of the impact that overdue bills and food prices are having on many people's day-to-day -day lives. Madam Speaker, when will this government start listening to people and turn their talking points into action? Great question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Madam Speaker, we have reduced um, taxes for the middle class on two occasions and the Conservatives voted against it. We have created a Canada Child Benefit that has helped lift over a million people out of poverty. In our budget, we have concrete measures in order to help Canadians buy a first home, in order to help Canadians pay for um, child care. Madam Speaker, we have been there for Canadians and the Conservatives have not. Madame la Présidente, avec un taux d'inflation à son plus haut niveau. With inflation at its highest level in 30 years, Canadians are struggling to make ends meet. To add fuel to the fire, Service Canada can't keep up with the number of VI claims and fraud. In my riding, some citizens haven't gotten a check since November because of delays due to investigating fraud. These are Canadians who can't wait anymore. They didn't have extra money to begin with. The mental and physical health of these Canadians is at risk. When will the government add the resources needed to finally reduce these endless delays? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. I thank my colleague for the question. I would like to call his attention to our budget, which contains real measures to help all Canadians. We're talking about a single payment for Canadians that are having a hard time finding affordable housing, measures to help Canadians buy a first home, and I hope that the Conservatives will vote for this budget because it will help Canadians. Inflation affects everyone and every sector. The price of diesel is nearly $3 a litre. It's unbelievable. The impacts are real and they affect farmers in particular, who depend on fuel for transportation and machinery to farm. They were already stifled by the carbon tax, 